Oroku is blessed with a good number of streams which traverses the town and are called different names at different places. They are Mwacha, Iyuku, Iyudo, Oridike, Mvomvo, Maba, Ezibo. The most popular among the streams in Oroku is Mwacha. Mwacha's popularity goes beyond Oroku due to a unique taste and the candor of her waters. It is located at Irukweleko village. Mwacha stream is a tourist delight any day. Her untainted touch of nature, the artful vistas of her purity, the flora and fauna that glides the stream to life, the interweb of contorted roots rising like a telephone cord and a feel of gushing freshness elevated her status. Mwacha River. That is Michael Chigozie, I'm a Kese. And I am JJ Agada. Ikuku Aike is here. And of course, Emeka is here with me. All of us are here. And we are part of this experience this evening. We are living the dream. We are seeing it. This is that great river in Oruku. That great water of the stories of the ancestral times. This is it. And we are here. Now, the question remains, if this is the great water river, if this is that stream of the stories, if this is the place of those dreams, why these grasses? Mwacha stream has a myth woven around it. It is said that the stream was originally located at Adaziani. According to Chief Christopher Ekunie, a historian by excellence, she was giving life to the Adaziani community. But the people of Adaziani maltreated her. They used her as a dumping ground and her bank became very dirty. She got annoyed, dressed like an old lady and went in search of another location. When she came to Oroku, she was touched by the hospitality of the Oroku people. So she left Adaziani at the middle of the night and found her way to her present location. It is instructive to note that Adaziani presently has no stream. The fact that Adaziani people don't fetch her waters lends credence to this story. In the olden days, another Zian indigen dares not step his or her foot inside the Mwacha stream. A story told by Mrs. Veronica Makeze about her experience during the Nigerian Civil War will suffice here. According to her, she, together with other young ladies, went to the Mwacha stream to fetch water with their earthen pots balanced on their heads. When they got to the stream, they discovered that the entire Mwacha stream has turned into a mud water like a flood. It was an abomination for such a thing has never happened before. They collected their pots and ran back to their houses as fast as their legs can carry them. It was later discovered that the Mwacha goddess got annoyed because the people of Adazian came and fetched her waters. It took the intervention of the chief priest of Mwacha deity by way of sacrifices and cleansing rituals before the stream became safe for drinking again. Till date, Adaziani people don't fetch Miriam Mwacha. The Mwacha deity was established by a very powerful medicine man. This man bears the name Abakonyi Lenyi. Um, I don't know who Nadi Ben if you meet. Eh? If I did, you would not. No, Dibia. About the gap, all Dibia. Over the poor Dibia. As I natural, I feel him. I will have more than a chequam over the. I make what I do for better than over the. Eh? Eh? Tobonam, they can watch us a day. No, you are not a motor. 
since you have a career, I have a feeling on your uncle or Mother, if you're a girl, and then I joke a carazel and then I go more. Eh? I'll rather you win in it. Can I do it? So as if you need it. What I go? Eh? I'll be able to knock a taqua. If I did cheer, knock a. Manacoli will do a kitta. So many can then toll it. The cold marker. Not all, no, no, Blue Cahapua. What I have done, my Then, what did I want to wipe? But I was a motor at the user. You are a backup on wage. Oh, my man, I'll speak it in a way. Come, my Boy, you buy all your money. Tell my lady, but tell me about your yazo. And then, my every time. I'm going to talk about it. 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 I'm going to talk Mana kwa de na na bolu tata na na roro Maka na e bata zohi bonyo hoku okwe yedi oje koru mocha sa je chori aya onye meriva opo aje onye si na nye nya se oru se ale goru na ehije weta bia ka nya tonye oru ji na okoko oru nka eje egu bia so na emi if I make a name, I will go. I have a job. So the master, the guns were doing. Million water, get a boost with it. Thank you. Million water, be about the Bubinalo. When I was to Libya, I mean the name Adaziana. When I was to Libya, Bagolo. I have a million water, Sibia. We are not others, Anne. Who are you calling her? Name the others. Now, now, my history, my condemn, I'm watching. In came and under that, I have you what you have. What did they have you? You what did you have again? Why, you don't know, so I bet on a media. I was more of a swap and so I what you have. So due to the hammer, the power, million. Eh? I had never met you so far. Oh, where, 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 poor? Where about that Zia? No, I can't build. No, no. I'm getting. You pull my eye, dear. I'm getting my bad. Ah, ba. I'm just going to pull my eye, dear. Boy, no, no. Okay, sir. Me you want to, sorry. You want to know where is he? Kedu, case you where? Kedu, utu is where me where he? You want to know where he is? Oh, ada kabo. Ada mo de mo la mo kabo. So di bi agwa de wo ko sai fe ni ne jie ya e jie fi mo, eh? E ke ya ti ke si e ke. Ni si ano nukun nage. Four father, our four father, nine kids, Yankee knock it up. Get up here. I have a backer. A pack on you, lady. And no can't say that I have a backer family. I won't ya have a back on you, lady. Oh, no good idea. Eh? No good idea. Oh, no good idea. Yes, no, no, who could you be no, 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 what prompted the establishment of the deity was a military invasion. It was a tough war that was then and now called Aranuku, a war against the people of Onuku that is called Adazinuku. The high priest told the assembly that the invaders will be conquered if only an Oruku indigenous young virgin is offered for the ritual. This girl he maintained should not be a slave or non-aborigine. 
people were afraid to make this offer until one man called Owenye Yudene from a half a kindred in Amada village donated his own daughter who was a virgin to be used for the sacrifice. As a reward for his patriotism, Obwenya Yuden and his sons were given the title of taking the jaw of any cow killed in Oroku. The people of Oroku were victorious in the war against the Noku people. It was after the war that the Nwacha stream was dedicated to the deity. In the olden days, no Oroku indigent dare steal from the stream. Oroku people going to the market had some stones picked from the Nwacha stream to their wares. This is a guard against theft. Some of these practices are no more being observed, but the Nwacha stream still retains her beauty and a unique refreshing taste, untainted by science. A lot of people still prefer her waters to the now rampant boreholes. The colonial contact brought many changes in the traditions of Igbo people. With the arrival of a new culture, the Igbo traditional beliefs, religion, family structure and function, and social certification were all affected. The Anglican missionaries were the first to come into Oroku in the tail end of 1915 AD under Mr. Abraham Ejidike and Chief Uzochuku, both of blessed memory. The same Abraham Ejidike brought in the Roman Catholic Church in 1916 when he was outsmarted by the Anglican Church. The compound of Moses Obianowo first housed the Anglican Church when it was established by Abraham Ejidike. It was an open air service for there was no church building. With the increase in number of new converts, it became necessary that the church should move to a bigger site. The church moved to Amokonde Moors land, an evil forest. The survival of the church in such a land, contrary to the expectation of skeptics, made the church to grow by leaps and bounds. In a bid to attract more new converts, the church elders decided to move the church to a residential area. That came to pass in 1917. The church was moved into a place called Kompam in Ameze village. The year 1918 is historic in the life of the church. It was a year the young church got its name, St. Thomas. The church was so named by Archdeacon Smith. The growth of the church and the increase in pupils attending school demanded a more spacious and more centrally located place. Thus, 1938, a new area was acquired in what in today is called St. Thomas Anglican Church premises. In the area of education, the church established the former central school on Rogu, now the community primary school. The church went further into financing the schooling of pupils from poor families, the gesture of which yielded great dividends. Prior to 1949, when the school attained the status of having her standard six, our pupils had to travel to neighboring towns like Newi and Nobi to complete their primary school education. The church and the school have produced eminent personalities. The Catholic mission was established in Onicha on 5th December. 1885. In 1916, Moses Wankuo from Amese village, Oroku, who had been sold into slavery in Arodezog, returned to Oroku as a Christian. He teamed up with Abraham Ejidike, who also came back from Arodezog as a Christian. Unknown to any mission authority, they began to assemble a group of people on Sundays to teach them the new form of religion they acquired at Arodezog. It was all strange, but its novelty attracted to them some followers. The church brought in by Moses Wanko and Abraham Ejidike was first stationed in the compound of Ndulu Obunwafo in Ota village. In 1917, the church in Ndulu Obunwafo's compound was no longer large enough to accommodate the teaming congregation. For fear of insecurity of the church and its members at Oye Market Square, the members decided to shift the church to Ameze village in Oruku and to become a compound of Chief Ozochukum Banefo who was an influential person in the town. He was also a good friend of Chief Ezio Koli of Onobi, the clan head of Onobi Native Court. The movement on Banefo's compound was to ensure the security of the church and its members. Chief Ozochukum Banefo, with open mind, gladly received the church with its members in his compound. He threw his weight behind the church and was determined to protect the church under his trust. As the membership of the church was steadily increasing, Chief Ochukum Banefo and the members of the church perceived the need to remove the church from its compound to a bigger area that would allow for expansion. For this reason, Chief Ochukum Banefo went to Obodakom Mano of Ameze village to obtain a portion of his land for the new church. 
became a parish in 1965 under Mr. Joseph Arakwe and was dedicated on Sunday, December 24th, 2006 by His Grace at Bishop Valerian Madoko Keke. The new father's house is St. Joseph's Parish and the Belfry was built by the Catholic Women Organization, CWO. In 2007, St. Albert the Great Station of St. Joseph's Oruku was raised to an independent station status with the Reverend Father Godwin Modum as a priest administrator. Chief Charles Odonukwe is single-handedly handling the construction of the church building, a project that has reached an advanced stage. The brother, Chief Ignatius Odonukwe, undertook the construction of the Chapel of Perpetual Adoration. The project is already completed and is currently in use. Oruku is blessed with numerous indigenous clergy and religious men and women. Oruku's clergy and the religious are legion. Most Reverend Dr. Albert Kanenejko Biofna was born at Oruku on 30th January 1930 in the family of Mr. Patrick Abako Biofuna and Madam Virginia Mary Enyochi Biofuna. At school, due to his brilliance, one catechist, Mr. Ezekiel Okeke from Isofia, took a special interest in the young Albert and gave him strong religious formation. He was ordained a priest on 21st December 1963 at Rome. Due to his stellar performances in the work as a priest, he was raised to the status of a bishop on 5th February 1975. On Wednesday 11th May 2011, after a protected battle with cancer, Archbishop Albert Kanenechko Biofuna answered the divine call. He is today a member of the church triumphant in heaven, but his works here.